What up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. That's right. I'm your guy, GTA Glitch God, and I am back with the Skywalker Glitch, currently working on Xbox One and PS4 after the latest updates and hotfixes. Subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications, guys, so you never miss any future uploads, content, live streams, giveaways, and much more. Join the crew, join the community, and the Discord. All those links can always be found down below. And for a quick shout out, be subbed, comment, and like the video. This video shout out goes to four different people. The first shout out goes to Lynx Audio. Second shout out goes to Stoked El De Matador Gang Gang. The third shout out goes to Killed Before You See Me. And the fourth shout out goes to Ghost. So massive shout out to those guys. And with no further ado, let's get to skywalking. That's right. All right, so requirements for this super dope awesome skywalker glitch guys working on xbox one and ps4 after the latest updates and hotfixes requirements pretty minimal you're gonna need now this is optional you're gonna need a vehicle that flies that does not have weapons if you want to go passive during the setup now that's complete completely optional you don't have to go passive you can go into a public lobby and do this and run the risk of getting you know shot during the setup but if you want to go passive to get set up then you're gonna to need to have a vehicle that does not have weapons on it for instance the thruster or the mark to oppressor that does not have weapons so you're gonna to have to de-weaponize those items because you need a vehicle that flies Okay, to get you up here like this. You also can do this in a public lobby. You can do this in any targeting mode. Now, God mode and OTR are completely optional as well. All right, let's get started. So first thing you're gonna do, let's hit creator. Once we're in creator, we're gonna hit pause, go over to online, start up a brand new invite only. All right, so you guys can do this in any lobby, any targeting mode, doesn't really matter. Spawn point can be anywhere. Matchmaking does not matter either. You're gonna make your way into any lobby, okay? Use any vehicle that you want to get over here to the unicorn. Now, for purposes of the video, I just used a Avenger just because I was in my facility. But um, what we're gonna do is make our way right over to the unicorn and before we go into the unicorn, we're gonna call out a vehicle. Let's come over here to the back side of the unicorn. All right, you're gonna open up your phone or you can fly the vehicle over here, it doesn't really matter. I'm on the clock, what you want, some wheels? I'll bring it to you. Now for purposes of the video, I used a thruster. So I took my thruster to the mod shop Actually, I jumped in my thruster, hit right D-pad, and I removed the weapons on the thruster. Alright, that means I, I can go passive in this vehicle during this setup when I'm in a public lobby. So people don't kill me while I'm trying to set this up. But if you guys don't care about being killed while setting this up, then don't worry about removing the weapons off of your flying vehicle. You guys can use the Mark II Oppressor. You guys can use the Deluxo. Just remove the weapons off of it if you need to go passive during this setup. But if you don't care about the setup and getting killed, if you're in a public lobby, then do what I'm doing. You're gonna come to the back of the come to the back of the unicorn right here, and I like to knock out these fences because it's a pain in the butt trying to position your vehicle in there when those fences are there. All right. So what we're gonna do is bring the thruster right over here to the back of the unicorn at this door. And see the awning, the black awning that my head is about to hit? All right, I'm gonna turn my thruster around and I'm gonna put it right back underneath that awning. All right, so I'm gonna back it up just a little bit. 
All right, then I'm gonna turn my camera around to, to see if I'm close to that door. All right, so about right there, that's perfect. So I'm gonna exit the thruster now, put my guns away, because now we're gonna go inside the unicorn. Alright, once you get into the unicorn, you're going to walk up to this railing, and you're going to hit right D-pad. As soon as you hit right D-pad, you're going to hit pause. Now you're going to go to online, do come down to Kermit Enterprise Starter Pack, open it up, now close it. Now go to jobs, play jobs, Rockstar Created, missions, and launch a titan of a job. Now there's no rhyme, there's no real trick to this, guys. This is very easy. You're simply going to decline the titan of a job and confirm. So decline, confirm. If done correctly, we will spawn out back of the unicorn. You'll be missing your helmet. No worries. You'll get it back later. All right. Now open up the pause menu. Go to online. Come down to Criminal Enterprise Starter Pack. Open. Now close. Now make your way back over to your vehicle and hit the Y button. Get on it. All right. Now be careful coming up out of here. So fly up out of there. Now go pick a suitable location that you want to skywalk, all right? Now for purpose of the video, we'll just go ahead and lift up to a nice, um, a nice elevated, you know, altitude here. Now if you guys were in passive, I'm going to show you how to get out of passive because you're not going to have an interaction menu for the time being, all right? So go ahead and hit Y and get off of the vehicle now it'll fall to the ground and, and blow up no worries you can you can repair it later all right but there you have it guys absolutely working on xbox one and ps4 after the latest updates and hot fixes you can do pretty much anything up here guys you can have a little bit of fun all right those of you guys who did this in passive you're going to hit pause you're going to go to online come to options and disable passive right here um if people are able to shoot you why don't you put your quick action to a snack Therefore, you can snack up while up here um, using your analog sticks when you double click them. So there's, there is analog snack, there is disable passive, there's also a kill yourself if you absolutely need to kill yourself. You know, if you need to be one of those guys that takes the easy way out right before someone shoots you with like, say, a RPG coming at you 9,000 miles per hour. If you can make it to the pause menu, get in here and kill yourself, I mean, more power to you. Because you will not have your interaction menu while up here, alright? Meanwhile, back here at the ranch, you've got full access to all of your weapons. It does not matter. People are going to be looking for you, so position yourselves over top of buildings. Position yourself over top of parking garages to trick the person below you, because they're going to think that you're either in a, in a garage on a certain level, perhaps underneath the map. Um, you can have a lot of fun with this, man. There, I mean, this is dope. This is super fucking dope. Um, cops won't be able to get to you very well. Um, at nighttime, people won't even be able to see you up here. Jets, I've plucked people out of jets doing Mach 3, like with a combat MG, having a lot of a, a lot of fun. Boop, 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 boop. I mean, if you're in a assisted aim, you're gonna lock onto somebody, a pilot in a jet, and pluck him right out of his jet, and it's gonna piss him off absolutely guys i hope you guys had a lot of fun with this i hope you guys use this have a little fun the person i found where i found this guys i'm gonna go ahead and put her name out there eliza thank you very much check her out guys go hit her up on her youtube channel i'll leave her link down below i know she didn't want no promotion but uh thank you a lot eliza this is one of the coolest things i've ever seen in the game of gta 5 online but have a little fun with this guys um i don't expect rockstar to patch something this silly um, but if you guys want to get out of this, you guys can easily take your green Lester text or hit the Chrome Enterprise starter pack, open and close it, and then it'll make you fall. And you've got um, your parachute or whatnot, or you can fall to your death. It doesn't really matter. To get your interaction menu back, you would simply just open your phone up, take your green Lester text, and you have just now teleported to your apartment, evading any type of sudden death or whatnot. Once you get into your apartment, obviously you've got your interaction menu back, full parameters, you're unglitched, life is grand. But once again, guys, oh, major announcement. After today's video, which if you haven't seen today's video, go check us out. We've got a super dope 
brand new GC2F glitch out method, the Arena OTR. Check us out. Leave me a like on that video. Um, but after the video, we hit 1K crew members in the God Squad. So big massive shout out to the God Squad. We hit that 1,000 crew members in the crew, guys. Absolutely. And by the way, the crew's birthday, one year birthday, is July 4th this year. So we hit 1,000 crew members roughly I don't know we've got about a month until a little less than a month until we hit 12 months as an active crew so that is super dope the discord link can always be found down below join the community guys we're doing member only streams a few times a week passing out those modded cars for you members exclusively but that's it I'm your guy GTA Glitch God like always we will see you in the next one peace